Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia is under fire tonight for comments he made during oral arguments yesterday. The court was hearing a challenge to affirmative action at the University of Texas. Here's our chief legal correspondent, Jan Crawford. Justice Scalia was describing an argument made in court papers by opponents of affirmative action. There are those who contend that it does not benefit African Americans to get them into the University of Texas where they do not do well, said Scalia, as opposed to a slower track school where they do. Scalia was referring to what's known in social science as the mismatch theory, that minorities admitted through affirmative action, often from disadvantaged communities, tend to enter at the bottom of the class. Then they have trouble competing. With that in mind, Scalia continued, I don't think it stands to reason that it's a good thing for the University of Texas to admit as many blacks as possible. But outside the court, no one cared about the legal arguments. Scalia was deemed racist. Minority leader Harry Reid even took to the Senate floor. But it is deeply disturbing to hear a Supreme Court justice endorse racist ideas from the bench. It's not the least bit racist. Stuart Taylor co-authored the book that pioneered the mismatch theory. Justice Scalia used rather awkward words, but the point he was making was absolutely correct, that when you dramatically lower academic standards to let in a racial group into a college you wouldn't get in otherwise, they're going to have trouble competing with the people who got in the old-fashioned way. Now, supporters of affirmative action say the mismatch theory understates the real advantages that minority students get by attending these highly selective schools. And, Scott, they point out that the graduation rates for minorities at UT Austin, well, they're the highest of any public college in the state. Jan Crawford in the Washington Newsroom. Thanks, Jan.